What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test five more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget I got here, very unique egg maker, so I'm going to turn off, probably going to use only three of them, so you can turn them on individually. Actually I'm going to be using six of them. So first of all, I think you add oil in there. Then you use this tool to make sure you spread the oil everywhere. Okay, I preheat it for a while. Let's try to pour eggs in there. Not too much. I might be overfilling that one. Also, you can put a hot dog in there instead. There is few recipes you can do with this thing. Obviously, would be perfect for the hot dogs. But also, you can make this really cool egg roll. You know what, in the last ones I'll just put regular egg in and scumble it, scumble it up with the stick. Actually I'll do two eggs right here. This is how you tell when it's almost done cooking, it's starting growing out of this gadget. Check this out. This one and this one. Maybe a bit longer and then we can put the stick through and take it out. Is that weird? It's like a going, going eggs. Look at that, it's still growing. Even if you had a hot dog, it would work the same way. Oh my goodness, it's getting huge. Okay, you know what, I think with the other ones I wasn't waiting long enough. That was my mistake. Whoa, this one need a stick too. This is why you wanna put the sticks too, so that way it actually works. <laughs> Look how much it popped out. Put a stick to here. Whoa, look at that. This one going fast now. It's not cooked yet. This one is done for sure. Kind of getting stuck in there. Well, help it out. Boom. Definitely much easier with the hot dogs, but I'm getting a hang of it. I don't know what this is. I think sometimes you can use it to take out some of the eggs as well. This is nice, look at that. And let's take this out. You see so how some come out pretty easily, some don't. You can help yourself out with this stick. If you're using just an eggs to cook. Look at that. This is just weird. And you got omelets on the sticks, hot dogs on a stick with the egg. Pretty cool kitchen gadgets. Very, very unique, that's for sure. For the next gadget I got here, pretty unique coffee maker. It grinds coffee and brews it at the same time. So I got water over here. First of all, we will need to fill it up. The water tank. Boom. Looks like it takes up three or four cups. I did three cups, I think. Then we go stick it back in. Then we go open this up and we're going to put regular coffee non grind. A lot of people agree that this kind of coffee tastes way fresher. This scoop comes with the coffee maker, boom, and it's going to grind it in there. Check this out. We're going to close this. There is the setting ground. If you already put ground, beans, one to two scoops, three to four scoops. I did one scoop, so let's do one scoop and then press it. I wonder if it's going to self-stop. Okay, it stops automatically, that's why it says one to two scoops, and three to four it would be longer. And guess what? It's going to grind your coffee, and at the same time, brew it. So this is perfect for those people who loves coffee to be grind before they drink it. This is an awesome invention. So pretty much we got here two gadgets in one, coffee grinder and coffee maker. Very nice. Okay, let's see the, how the coffee turned out. You know what, should have put like three scoops at least. Boom. Very nice. I really don't know how they're supposed to clean this thing. Does this whole thing come off? Oh, you know what, that's how you clean it. Wow, that's a good idea. Check this out. The whole thing comes off. Just. Rinse it off because it's pretty clean at the same time. It's not like I was drinking out of it. And put it back in. Wow, easy to clean too. 
amazing coffee maker for sure for the next gadget i got here another coffee machine it's a cured machine but obviously by different company so what's so special about this one is this thing is mini usually those cured machines are pretty huge if you have a small office and you only want to have something smaller you can get one of these let's see how it works check this out it comes with the mug as well interesting press it to open it and right here you can add on just a regular grind coffee or you can put this attachment in and it's supposed to work with the regular Keurig coffee put it in this is how the water is going to go in let's see no problem but spill a little bit this mug comes with it so I pulled it, filled it up to the top it worked now the question is I already plug it in will it work ground capsule I'm gonna be using capsule so it's boiling we just wait and let's see what happens it took only about a minute to start pouring the water the water seems to be really hot look at that steam that's nice so will it be pretty strong let's find out okay new coffee ready to go whoa that looks really black you can put the lid on let's put it in here wow this is really dark so the water i think gets really really hot this is why it's so dark i like it definitely thumbs up for me this thing boils water really really good so it's like so whenever you're ready to put the next one just take it out pop another one in super cool i like it for the next gadget i got here a teapot you might ask me what's so special about teapot well guess what you open this up and this thing goes inside here and then you put the tea inside of it like i said this is actual teapot this is pretty good tea right here russian tea then you dump your tea right in there so you can really make a lot of tea at the same time hopefully i didn't miss some of it yeah i did oh well maybe i should have taken it out fill it up with tea then put it inside there remember the water is cold some people prefer the level of the boil right here oh wow it changes color too so 175 185 195 200 i guess once we set it up we wait it's going to boil it this is purple looks so beautiful super futuristic now we wait and see what will happen to this water will it actually brew pretty good also i really like how it's see-through we'll have to show to clean it really well because it won't look so good when it's dirty but yeah now we wait and see what happens to this water i really like how you can see how it's boiling on the bottom Okay, looks what's happening it's still boiling and um, the tea is brewing this is a black tea this is why I picked out that kind of tea so that way we can see what color is going to be that's a definitely different type of boil right here usually when you boil tea or water you have much much bigger bubbles okay they there they are this is much bigger bubbles now also if there is any tea leaves gonna go through guess what there is another sifter right here what do you call it strainer so that way it won't be a problem and guess what you have a whole teapot of tea very nice and i think you can make it 1.8 liters of tea wow and obviously if you keep it in there for a while or even like take this out and shake it up like a tea bag it probably will get even stronger oh it's actually hot probably be easier to just shake it up inside there like that there you go let's say i want to rinse few grapes let's see how this thing will work okay first of all it works like a bowl 
Okay, now the coolest thing. All you have to do is just flip it, whoops. Flip it all the way around. Make sure you don't spill it like I just did. Much easier to use two hands, but I gotta film with one hand all the way through. Then hold it right here and then flip it over and shake it. So that way all the water is out. This is just very strange, look at that. You have this weird ball and you spin it again. Very, very unique ball, don't you guys think? And now you have very fresh and clean anything you need to clean. Very nice. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>